This would prove to be one of the most important past life sessions he'd ever led. Would Ray Bryant know the final part of Reuben's surname? I want you to go back to the year 1855. It is 1855. Bring out your memories. What's your name and rank? Hey, you, what's your name and rank? My name's Stafford, Sergeant, 47th Lancashire Regiment of Foot. Lancashire Regiment of Foot. The group was astounded. I have never researched into the Crimea. It's not a subject that has interested me. Um, and I have no army background in my family at all. So if Ray didn't know anything about the Crimea, where did the identity of that obscure foot soldier come from? Richard Wiseman, a psychologist, believes the explanation may lie with cryptoamnesia. When we're young, we pick up far more information than we realize, information from books, films, other people. That's in our memories, but we've just forgotten about it. The hypnotist comes along, suggests we've lived a previous life, and all that information comes out. And in the right setting, the hypnotist and the subject might be able to convince each other that really is evidence for previous lives. And tell me, where are you exactly? Oh, we're back in camp now. In camp. But it's hard to explain no, the no, wealth no. of accurate detail provided by Ray Bryant as he went on to describe the life of Reuben Stafford, the young soldier who fought the Russians far from home on the borders of the Black Sea. We've tested him against the evidence, we've tried to trick him, and we haven't been able to break him out of the character. If Ray was acting, we'd have caught him out. If it wasn't genuine, if it was imagination, we'd have caught him out. So my belief is that we've got a genuine phenomenon here. Where are you? In battle? The following reconstructions are based on tapes of the actual regression sessions. They come at us just over a little ridge. Attackers! They're there, right in front of us, looking at us, hardly a rifle's length away. Are they armed? Aye. Oh, so you have to be quick. Quicker than them. How old were they? Just chaps like us. What colour uniforms are the Russians wearing? Grey. The grey ghosts. Just come and go. They know the country. It's very much like a dream, but this time you are conscious all the time and you're watching the action. You know what that dream is leading to. Keaton was intrigued by Reuben's injury to his left hand. Records show he was injured in the Battle of the Quarries in 1855. Ray was still ignorant of the details, but would he recall them under hypnosis? Is this a good day to talk to you? Keep up, keep up. Wait for the order. Advance! The attack on the quarries on the 7th of May, 1855, was part of the Battle of Sebastopol. It took the lives of hundreds of British troops. I had this uh, sudden sensation in the hand. I couldn't imagine what was happening because while I was aware that um, something had happened to that hand, I could feel no pain. And yet I knew that Reuben was experiencing pain. Joe was so concerned at Ray's state that he moved him on in time. It's later now. You're not in the quarry now. It's later that night. Where are you? I don't know what happened. I got shot by Russians. Who's looking after you? Lorry's ladies. They have aprons and caps, white caps. How long have you been there, in the war? One year, one year now. Are you missing home? I miss me wife and Bobby. They write to me, 
She says all's well. Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? Aye. Andrew Selby's researches didn't finish with the war. He pursued Reuben Stafford through the 19th century, but no trace was found until the last day of his life. A death certificate provided the last vital piece of evidence with which to test Ray Bryant. Reuben Stafford had ended up as a lighterman on the Thames, alone, his family gone. A forgotten soldier, down on his luck. Joe Keaton decided to take Ray back to the day of Reuben's death. It's the 2nd of April, 1879. Where are you? I'm looking down into water. It's welcoming. Calm. <laughs> With no clues, Bryant had accurately reconstructed the last moments of Reuben Stafford's life and death. Violent suffocation by drowning. A suicide. Just for the record, believers in reincarnation now reckon you are reborn about 50 years after you die. We'll be back after a gap of precisely one week. Good night. Never grows older. Badass homies are the loud and bold. Having a party, yeah. Honey. Could you tell me why in God's name he called his mother a garden tool? Without a doubt, hoods just get played out. Me and my boys can't be beat. Wherever you go, you be like gas. We're gonna kick your fun and frolics with kid and play and house party, the deathless jam, Sunday at 10 on 4. Ah oh, yeah. High times and low times of hospital life emerge in a new series of medics, next here on Central. We're approaching the island of Elba for another Andrex Ultra European Challenge. Buongiorno, Buongiorno Anna. Vediamo se il tuo Andrex Ultra vince la mia sfida. Quick to absorb. Andrex Ultra is better than conventional kitchen roll. It's strong even when wet. And we'll convince you on the spot that nothing absorbs quicker and better than Andrex Ultra. There's no quicker, cleaner upper. Mmm, 16. 17. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Oh, 24. Eight. How will you pick your lucky national lottery numbers this week? Seven. Was that seven or eleven? Seven. It's you. It could be you. A powerful movie premiere on Central. Melanie Griffith, Michael Douglas. You know what you're getting yourself into, Linda? The war. Somewhere in Germany, scientists are developing a bomb that can fly by itself. Spiraling suspense and deadly intrigue. Gripping movie premiere action Monday at 9 on Central. Shining through. Now on Central, a new series of medics.